Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'm going to show you how to balance your Crane 3 Lap Gimbal. Don't forget that balance is the most important part when you're setting up your gimbal. Alright, let's get started. Here is our multifunctional base plate. This will carry our camera and mount it directly onto the Crane 3 Lap Gimbal. We have ports in the front that allow us to attach lens support, and we have an adjuster on the side which allows us to adjust both the lens support system and our optional follow focus servo and zoom servo. Note that the quarter 20 inch ports should remain on the right side of your camera after you remove this adjustment arm. Also note that the mounting platform should remain on the back when you are mounting your camera. Now start assembling your Crane 3 Lab gimbal by attaching the tabletop tripod to the quarter 20 inch port on the bottom of the gimbal. Simply screw it on. The tabletop tripod allows us to use it as an extra grip when handling the Crane 3 and it allows you to place the gimbal on any flat surface for easier setup times. Next, grab your camera quick release plate and mount it onto your camera. Attach it to the quarter 20 inch port on the bottom of your camera and securely tighten it up with a screwdriver or a coin. Once the quick release plate is secured onto your camera, we can mount it onto the gimbal. Then use the red switches to unlock each axis. Once you prop up the roll and pitch axis to be in default position, relock them by flipping those switches again. Now release the quick release tensioner. This will allow us to slide on our camera to the quick release system. Now slide in your camera to the quick release system. From the back in, you will hear a locking click, meaning that your camera is secured onto the gimbal. During the balancing process, it's key for you to know that each axis has to be centered properly. We are first starting with the pitch or tilt axis. If your camera is too front heavy, it will flop forward. If it's back heavy, it will flop backwards. Your goal is to make sure that your camera remains center. Make sure that your quick plate tensioner remains loose. That way you can push the quick plate forward or backward. Remember to make micro adjustments. You can also readjust the quick plate on your camera if you run out of slack. Now our first portion of the tilt and pitch axis is balanced. The next portion that needs to be balanced is the top to bottom balance. Manually position the camera up or down and see if it flops forward or backward. Use this adjustment to move the base system up or down to make this balance much more accurate. Leave the camera pointed up in order for this balance to be much easier for you. Continuously make micro adjustments and remember to use both of your hands. You will know that your system is balanced once your camera wants to remain in the same exact position after you remove your hands. Now you can tighten up the adjuster once you think your camera is properly balanced. Once that's done, run a quick test to make sure that your pitch axis is properly balanced by positioning it with your hands and leaving it be to see if it flops forward or backwards. Now it's time to adjust our roll axis. You can lock up the pitch axis at this time and unlock the roll axis by flipping the red switch. This is the same exact idea as the pitch axis. You want to counteract any side that's heavier than the other. So for example, if your left side is heavy and your camera leans over to the left, use the adjuster to push your whole system to the right to counteract that weight. Use both hands and your thumb to make micro adjustments for accurate results. Then tighten up the adjustment screw. Test the roll axis to make sure that it's balanced by positioning it with your hands and leaving it be to see if it stays in that same position. If it does, then you're ready to lock up that axis and balance the pan axis next. To test your pan axis to see if it's balanced, lift up your gimbal and tilt it to its side. If it swings around, it's improperly balanced. Loosen up the pan adjustment screw to make micro adjustments like earlier in the video. As soon as you get it right, 
you'll notice that the camera will not swing around as it did before. For those of you who are first time gimbal users, it's important to be patient and to use the trial and error process. Once all three axes have been balanced, it's time for the final test. Unlock all of the axes and hand position the roll and pitch axis to make sure that it remains in that position. Also be sure to recheck your pan axis. Now that your testing has been successful, we can turn on the gimbal. Make sure that your batteries are installed properly. Remove the battery cover by flipping the locking switch and then insert the three 18650 batteries and remember that the red pull tab goes under the batteries, that way you can easily remove them when you're done. Now you can turn on your gimbal by pressing and holding down the power button until the blue LED lights turn on. The gimbal will then spring to life and you are ready to use it. I cannot stress this enough. Properly balancing your gimbal is extremely important, so make sure it's done right. I'll see you in the next video.